Good morning, good morning. This is Anthony F. Mobile Tech Heat. This is our new episode. Welcome to Mobile Tech Heat. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. So, uh, lately I've been following a lot of developers that have been expressing uh, they want to write beautiful apps for the Android users. Only problem with that is that beautiful apps today slows down slower phones. Yes, there are some users out there that still only use Android 2.1 to Android 2.3. They're out there. I've, I've seen them. Now, most of the Android 4.0 uh, ice cream sandwich devices have the same unified look that Google Google has been trying to uh, push out to everybody and if you have an Android with uh, 4.0 or higher uh, the apps that you download are more uh, what's the word uh, more beautiful basically uh, more powerful able to have all the the bells and whistles that Google wants the developers to put in there nowadays so how are these things possible well, uh, Kosh from uh, Cyan and Jamad and Danny Roa here, uh, along with many, many um, independent Android developers, basically uh, what they feel is they're going to have to drop older Android versions in their code in order to make a speedy, fast, and beautiful app for the newer phones. Uh, do you agree? Do you think that? that is needed well they made some good points um, one excellent point here that Danny points out is uh, Rito Myers uh, talk about how we should uh, developers should skate where the puck is going so this is a uh, basically a hockey metaphor where uh, in hockey you can actually you can go skate to where the puck is but really if you want to score you want to hit the puck and then skate where it's going to go. You don't want to go to where actually it is because by the time you get to where it is, the puck has moved. So you want to skate to where the puck is actually going to progress, to be successful, to win. And phones nowadays are going to Android 4.0 and higher. Um, with the buying season coming up, the holiday season, there will be more phones being bought, old phones being dropped. Uh, users will pick up a new phone and it will more than likely be with Android 4.0 or higher. Now, another point he made is that uh, only ones that are really with the older versions will be the ones in, outside of the US. Um, and that's not necessarily true because I haven't had a phone subsidized in years. I would just go to Amazon and buy a phone. And most of the phones I bought off of Amazon that are Chinese phones have Android 4.0 on it. Um, since Google released Android 4.0, it's been incredible, it's been easy to throw on a low-end device. So developers shouldn't have to worry about supporting older versions for foreign countries. Don't worry about that. They are up to date for the most part. Now, of course, if you're a developer and you can get numbers out of your app, you know the, the real story. But from a consumer end, and just going on Amazon and eBay, things like that, there are a lot of Android 4.0 phones for under $200. So don't worry about it. Please make us that high quality app. Please drop Android 2.3 and 2.1 out of your code so that you can make beautiful apps. Let's see what else we're talking about. Oh, yes. I took the tab off. Uh, we were also talking about the new uh, Nexus 5 phone. And yes, uh, many people have uh, reviewed it. Uh, most of them, for some odd reason, they're still not getting the picture. They think they're comparing it to the higher quality premium tag Apple iPhone when they're not. It should be, in fact, comparing it to Nokia and how Nokia was able to make. Uh, mid-range phones, those phones that you could bounce off the ground and still work. 
those is what the kind of phones that Google is really going after in competition. They're trying to make everyday phones that has the latest security and technology in it so that the average person can use it. And for that to happen, that's to be a low price, to buy it outright. Now, if you buy an Apple uh, phone outright nowadays, it's about six, $700. But the new Nexus 5, excuse me, can be bought for around $300 outright that's just a hundred dollars more than the average phone on contract that's incredible uh, i'm not sure why people are missing that i can only assume it's because we were used to buying contract phones we were used to being uh what's the word enslaved for two years to the carriers once we buy that phone at a cheap price and we were okay with it when we shouldn't be now, Google comes along with the Nexus 5 that's $300 unlocked, which means you can pop in any SIM card you want for $300. You should be doing cartwheels. But we are conditioned, folks. We are conditioned to contracts and subsidization. Don't know why. So if you can, pick up that Android Nexus 5. And if you're a developer, definitely develop for just 4.0 or higher. This is Anthony F. Mobile Techie.